Welcome to the Battle Cats Beginner's Guide Next Steps. This next step I'd recommend for you is getting a unit that will prove extremely useful prisoner cats with a very important ability called Long Distance, which we'll look at when you try it out for the first Manix, the Manic Eraser and the Manic Mohawk. But getting it shouldn't be too difficult. You might be able to get it a little bit earlier on than this video is pitched progress-wise because you only need to do the entry level stages on both of the levels we will consider bringing a treasure radar with you to get this unit and its true form. So the first thing you'll need is Adult Cat. Adult Cat is in Rare Cats and it can be acquired by using a treasure radar on Happy New Year, question mark, the January stage. And you can go into any of these levels, use a treasure radar and you'll be guaranteed to be given Adult Cat. So just go into the first stage, use a treasure radar on that and you'll be absolutely fine. The thing is, is that even the last stage has a rare chance to get it on, which means you basically won't unless you use a treasure radar. So just bring that to any level you choose and see completing it as a way of getting yourself some cat food and leadership. Then in the second half of January, from the 16th onwards, Adult Cat Awakes appears. And that is the stage you're gonna need to complete at least one level within with a treasure radar on Expert and it's a guaranteed reward on Insane in order to get yourself Prisoner Cat. We're just gonna be covering Expert here because it's a much easier stage and this makes it more accessible to more people. If you don't have a treasure radar, you can purchase them in the store. Unfortunately, you can't get them from normal daily stages, but if there happens to be a lucky ticket stage on, that is a brilliant way of getting yourself treasure radars. Make sure to farm that lucky ticket stage. Now, this is an indicative lineup for the expert stage, which if you bring a treasure radar is the only one that you need to be doing in order to get yourself the true form of adult cat, prisoner cat. Now, I recommend bringing four meat shields with you, and that is not actually to fight the prisoners, they are ideally fought without meat shields. The reason that you've got these meat shields here is because there are metal doges in the level. And if you don't have many critical hitters, or you know, only maybe one not particularly reliable one, like Crazed Whale Cat, you'll want lots of individual hits, because each hit, if it's not critical, regardless of who it's from, does one damage to metal enemies. If you've got Trueform Whale Cat, Island Cat, that gives you critical hits whereas the first two forms unfortunately don't. So that would be an ideal one to have. I'll be going at it without it, in case you don't have Island Cat, because Whale Cat is also quite a tanky unit. Waves are incredibly useful in this stage because you can hit the back line as well as the front line of enemies because the damage sort of moves along. The prisoners are often going to stand in different locations and that's because of their long distance ability. When they first see something, they'll throw a spade and, you know, whack a little bit further back than you'd expect it to with the range that it has. And so, because they're standing in different places, one hit isn't going to do damage to all of the prisoners. Waves, however, will, which is why it's also fantastic to have Kray's Titan Cat. That, and because it's very, very tanky. But if you don't have it, have a look for what tanky units you may have. And you can judge that by looking for units with A, lots of health, and B, units that don't have many knockbacks. Ideally, only one, like Kray's Titan. And you can find information like that out on the data tables in the Battle Cats wiki. Then, as backup, we have Valkyrie Cat and Bahamut Cat. Now, bear in mind that this strategy is very much up to your own changes. Meat shields, anything that costs 75 or 150, you can probably call a meat shield and put that in place of something you might not have. Tanky units with few knockbacks and lots of health are good to put in place here, and anything that waves might well be useful. And a critical hitter, probably even more useful to be putting in there. Valkyrie, if you happen to have its true form, definitely put that in there, but we're just using it without its true form to be more accessible. Bahamut, you could replace with, ideally, a faster unit if you have one. Just make sure that it's one that does enough damage to easily kill off those rain Ds that you're luring. That's what its main purpose is there as a big ticket, big damage unit. So I would definitely encourage you to use the units in your filter, have a little search and adapt the strategy to something that's gonna be easier for you because this really is only a bare bones way of doing it. So you'll need your treasure radar on and that is about it. Into growing up expert, you go. 
So, the first thing you'll see are Dark Doges. When they come out, put out a few meat shields and maybe something like Crazed Sexy Legs, Crazed Whale. Just keep the meat shields up and you'll be fine killing those Dark Doges. Basically, you want a little bit of a vanguard to your battle that will go forward and nudge the base in order to get the next thing out of it. So something like this is fine and you can stop spamming your units while your monies increase. When damage is done to the base, you'll see all of these units come out, including a Rain D, and they will be moving more quickly than the Prisoner Cat that you see here. So let all of these front units kill your units that have gone to the base, and then, when they're near the base, this technique is called Luring, bring out your Bahama, all of your Meat Shields, and frankly, anything else that you can afford. You'll see here with our meat shields, the advantage is, is that we're doing lots of damage to the metal enemies without the need for critical hits. If you have a critical hitter, like Jurassic Cat, that would probably be useful to bring along with you. But now that the Prisoner Cat has arrived, ease up on the meat shields. Realistically, you can go through this entire level spamming meat shields the whole time. Just bear in mind that that means the Prisoner will be attacking more often and doing more damage to your backline. So if you're able to look at what other enemy units there are there, for example there being only one Rain D and no Metal Doges, easing off Meat Shields in those times is going to make it a little bit easier for you. Crazed Titan, if you happen to have it, you can see is especially useful here because of the waves. Not only can it walk up and tankily hit Prisoner, but any unit that's standing behind it will get waved if Crazed Titan activates its wave. Of course, Crazed Legs will put out a wave guaranteed, so that's going to be more useful for that purpose. You can also check your filter to see if you have any other waving units if you don't have these. Keep spamming whatever units you can afford, and you probably won't go too far wrong. Eventually, you'll be able to chip away and kill the prisoner, move forward and beat the level. That treasure radar will give you the true form of adult cat. You can go to rare cats, move over to where you have adult cat, and evolve it into its true form, giving you prisoner cat. Ignore the level of mine for now. Level 30 is probably the max you're going to be able to get it to. We'll cover more on how we get past that in a little bit, so stay tuned for that. So that was how you get Prisoner Cat, and this is going to prove very useful moving forward in a no gacha way. Because with its ability of long distance, it's going to provide a purpose that basically no other unit we currently have can do. Stacking up into a big pile to do an immense amount of damage from a safe distance, as we will end up seeing. But until then, I hope that's been helpful. If you have any questions, please do ask, and I will endeavour to help you. So that'll do. I'll say ta -ra, and I hope you enjoyed.